Hello again and welcome from Canada. I decided today that I needed to do my toes again because as you can see they're really really bad. They need some trimming, they need some fixing from the cuticles and we just need a new design. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off the bling, take off the polish and I'll come right back with you and we'll start the new design. Okay, I'm back. So I've taken off my previous design and cleaned up my toes a little bit. I filed them a little bit and I put a, a clear coat underneath to protect my natural nail. So now I'm going to add white. I'm going to try something different today that I normally do. I'm kind of getting out of my comfort zone here. So I'm going to start by painting these white. So obviously I'm going to have to do this design in, in sections because we have to always wait for the paint to dry, which is kind of a bummer, but I can't really do anything about it. I just hope it turns out the way that I'm envisioning it to. It's actually inspired by my 11 year old son. And I'm pretty sure that he's going to be very fascinated. And hopefully he loves this design that I'm doing. You know how uh, kids eat candy and gum and everything? Well, I used to too. And so I got some inspiration one day when my son was eating some candy. So I figured, hey, let's try it and see if it works for me. So I'm going to try it. I'm not sure if how good it's going to turn out or if it's going to turn out at all. But I got to try it just for the sake of trying it. Don't mind this toe. It kind of broke and I'm um, trying to nurse it back to health right now. But it's doing pretty good. I got the clear coat underneath it so it should be all right. Protect the nail. Sorry about my ugly feet. That's probably why I do nails so that you take the focus off my feet and all you see is the pretty design. And then the last toe. All right. Well, unfortunately, once I, uh, I put this white on, I'm going to have to let it dry for a little bit and then come back and figure out the rest of the design. But the way I'm envisioning it, I think it'll look all right. I think it'll look pretty decent, actually. I'm just not sure if what I have planned is going to go with one another, but that's okay because it's an experiment. And if I decide I don't even like it, that's what nail polish remover is for. So I'm just putting this last little coat on here, and it should it should dry really quickly because um, it's really cold in my apartment right now. So. I'm going to stick my feet right where the air exchange comes out and hopefully this will dry in a jiffy and I'll be right back with you. Okay, and then the next step is to, I'm going to paint the pink over top of the white because when you do that, it makes the pink pop and I just love how it looks. But then if you make any mistakes, you can always fix it afterwards. I try not to because I can't, when I do my toes, it's like, you gotta be almost like a contortionist just to paint them properly. And especially when you're trying to film it, it's especially difficult. So I'm going to try to do this as flawless as I can, but I may have to fix them afterwards. So there's one, one down, four more to go. And yeah, and if you hear some strange noises in the background, that would be my cat and my dog bugging me. Uh, they can't seem to uh, lay off me when I, I seem to be filming. For some reason, they, you know, they want to be part of it. I don't know why. So, yeah. So, Lou is my dog and Bella is my cat. And they're right, right both behind me. I try getting my uh, dog's nails painted, but he's not having it. And I can't get Bella to sit down long enough for me to paint her nails. So, 
Yeah, I gotta do my own. Like I said, uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to touch this up afterwards, but that's okay. That's why beautiful invention of acetone and nail polish remover were invented. I hope this turns out the way I, I really envisioned it in my head. Yeah, that's my dog getting mad at the cat because she likes to stick her tail in his face all the time because she just adores him, but he wants no part of her. He is a big, huge bull mastiff that weighs uh, probably about as much as I do, and I'm not going to tell you how much I weigh, but um, you can guess. I'll let you guess. How much would a seven-year-old bull mastiff weigh that has never missed a meal a day in his life? Yeah, and he's somewhat of a little bit of a princess, too, so... Yeah. Doesn't like getting wet and going outside. Yeah, princess, princess, he should have been a girl. Sorry, I know I'm doing this kind of weird, but um, I'm trying to film it and oop, and do it at the same time and, and without getting the dog and cat hairs in my way because that seems to be a huge challenge for me these days is trying to get these done without dog or cat hair or even my big ass long red hairs in there. So... Hope this one's okay. Okay, so we've got them done. Now we just gotta wait for them to dry, and then I'll be back. Okay, so now that the pink is dried, I think we can start on the design, and I hope that it works out in my mind as, as I'm envisioning it. So, I don't know if you guys all remember, when we were kids, or when everybody was kids, or I don't know what generation, but when I was a kid, I used to really love these. Do you remember these? The little comics from Double Bubble. So, I've decided that I think I would like to do a design with the Double Bubble design on it. And my inspiration is going to be from this little bit of a comic here. So, let's see if this works out. So, I think the only place I can put this double bubble is right here. So, what I'm going to do is put a little bit of clear so it'll stick to it a little bit. And then once it all dries, then I can top coat it. So... Going good so far, at least it fits my toe. I'm gonna try to smooth it down as much as I possibly can. There. Probably be, be better once I uh, top coat it and, and everything. Let me feel a little bit where the crown is. I can't really see very good there. <laughs> All right. Oh, it's going good. It's going well so far. It's going well. It's going well. Going well. All right. What does that look like? Look okay? All right. And then I figure, see these little crowns right there? I've cut out a couple of little individual crowns and I'm going to put on either one of those toes there. So I think I need a little bit more top coat. Just for that part right there. And that's a crappy nail. So actually, this little crown is perfect for covering up the crappy part of my nail. So let's see. And I actually, I actually cut these out right off of the actual double bubble package. And my son was so nice for him to save them for me. And I just cut them out. So there's one. 
and two. A little bit of top coat. Hopefully I can get it centered properly. Oopsie. You're so small. Okay. Stick it right there so it looks like a little crown at the end of my nail. Cute. And... And for the other two toes, sorry, that's my neighbor's dog, and she's outside, and apparently she wants inside, so nobody's been paying attention to her. She'll come in in a second. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do now with these two toes here is the little white polka dots. I think they're super cute, and I think it would accent this design perfectly. So I'm just going to put my white here, sorry. Not looking so bad so far, not so bad. All right, so let's do this. Okay, I think that's cute already and I haven't even finished the toe yet. I hope you guys like it. And I hope my boy likes it because I did this for him. These are my double bubble toes, buddy. I hope you like them. Okay. Let's get this last one done here. Oops. I got to fix those dots. I don't really like those dots very good. There. I'll try to get a close up too once I'm finished. Sorry, my hands on the way. I, 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 I'm trying to be quick. Okay. There. Voila. Well, what do you think? Oh, sorry. Let me just move my foot here so you can get a little bit of a better view. What do you think of my double bubble toes? I think they're super cute. I think they actually turned out not so bad. Uh, just got to flatten these down. Not a biggie. There. There. Those are my, my double bubble toes. I actually didn't turn out as bad as I was thinking they were going to turn out. I'm glad. Well, if anybody else tries to do these double bubble toes, please tag me and I would love to see your recreation. The only thing left to do is little top coat and uh, Bob's your uncle. Or Bob. I don't have an Uncle Bob. How about Sam's your uncle? I like Sam. Sam's a, Sam's a good word or a good name. <laughs> Anywho, um, I hope you all like my uh, double bubble recreation toes. And... Uh, I hope you all stay groovy. Until next time, from Canada, ciao for now.